uh, created on, on the island of Maui. My wife and I, we lived in Maui for the winter. And um, it was just a really, really just amazing time. It was a very powerful place, Hawaii. And uh, while we were there, a friend of mine gave, gave me this book. And um, it was called Tales of the Night Rainbow. And the first, the, there was, it was told by this grandmother from Molokai. And it explained all the Hawaiian creation stories and their laws and their spirituality before the islands were taken over. It's just a really sweet book, sweet book. And um, one of the first stories in the book is a story about the bowl of light. And the Hawaiians believe that every person that comes into the world, um, every being that comes into the world, they're born with a bowl of light. And this, this light is what they call their mana, right? Their spiritual breath, their life energy. And the whole purpose of one's life is to grow your bowl of light, right? Let it shine, right? So they say that the ones that have perfected this practice, they're the, what they call their kahunas, their shamans, and, and they can heal the sick, and they can travel from island to island without a boat, and do marvelous works, you know? But on the other hand, if you do something bad, like if you, uh, you know, hurt somebody or steal something or unkind towards somebody, a stone goes into your bowl, right? And the light and the stone can't exist in the same place. So if you do enough bad things, then you're left with a heavy load, right? And all your light goes out, right? But the Hawaiians say that at any time you can flip your bowl over and you can start afresh, right? So I heard this story and I was like, I told our, our friend, I said, man, this story really affected me. And they said, oh, well, you should read this book called The Bowl of Light. And, and it's about this professor who becomes a student of a very famous Hawaiian shaman named Hale Makua. And Hale Makua, since past, is, is a, uh, his whole mission, he went around the whole world teaching people about the Bowl of Light and, and their stories and stuff. So I was reading this book. And I was like, man, this is just so cool. And I, you know, I wrote this song kind of inspired by my meditation on that and our journeys in, in Hawaii. But I didn't just want to take this song and just like take it from their, you know, creation stories and, you know, go sing it without kind of like a blessing or a permission or something like that. So I told my friend Jojo, I asked my friend Jojo, who's on the album, the song Uncle Joe is written about our friend Jojo. And... <laughs> I said, Joe, you know, I really want to get like a blessing or permission to sing about this story. And Joe just said, oh, I, well, we're going to the big island. We'll get the blessing over there. So I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. So we go over to the big island. We play this thing called Flow Festival, and it was on this Hawaiian sovereign land. It's a way out. I've never done anything like it. We were playing on top of this lava field, and lava was like flowing across the road like... It was so freaking far out, dude. It was like stupid how far out it was. So much crazy energy, so powerful. And, and we're out there, and as soon as I get there, Jojo, he points to this big Hawaiian lady in this red fiery dress who opened up the whole ceremony with his prayer, and he said, that's who you got to get the blessing from. <laughs> her, name was, her name was Auntie Emily, right? So I was like, okay, you know, so... The whole weekend, I'm trying to like work up my courage. I'm kind of shy, so I'm like, oh god, I gotta like, you know, ask her. You know, I'm running out of time. And finally, it's the last night, and I'm about to play, and I'm kind of walking around backstage as an outdoor thing, and I see her kind of sitting in her car by herself, and I thought, oh man, this is my moment. This is it. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, whew, okay, whew, come on, okay. So I walk over to her, and just as about, just about, I'm about to say you know, introduce myself, I'm like right there, like the words are on the tip of my tongue, she's like lighting up this big spliff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I, you, and I was like in that weird space where like you can't retreat, like you're already there, you gotta go. <laughs> so I was like, oh, here, here we go. So I'm like, hi, uh, my name's Trevor, and um, I wrote this song called you know, the bowl of light, and it's like, <clears throat> I know about the <laughs> bowl of light. <clears throat> like, the car is like filling up with smoke, and like, all these people are kind of starting to gather around, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is not how I pictured this going down. <laughs> and uh, I was like, well, you know, I'd really love it if maybe you could 
listen to it and maybe you could just get, give me a blessing to share it with other people. And she kind of like mumbles something. She's like, oh, okay. And I was like, okay. And she's like, okay. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I walked back and my wife was like, did, did you get it? You know? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, shoot, man, I blew my chance, right? So anyway, I was like, you know what, I'm going to sing it anyway. We're on the big island, I'm going to sing it, and we'll see what happens. So I get up on stage, it's this real close, close thing, and I see her sitting right in front of me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I got her now, this is good. So I said into the microphone again, I said, Auntie Emily, I wrote this song called Bowl of Light, blah, 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 blah. I'd love it if you give me a blessing. And because it was a new song, I wrote all the lyrics out on big sheets of paper and put it at my feet. So I close my eyes, I start singing this song, and about halfway through the song, I just, something happens, and I just explode in tears. I'm just crying like a baby. And um, I just felt this crazy, just, just something happened, you know. It was super emotional. And at the end of the song, I, I open my eyes, and I look down, there's all these lava stones all over the, the lyrics, right? So I was like, shit, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> but I looked down at Auntie Emily and she looks up to me and she's like, I give you my blessing, you know. And, and when I got off stage, I, asked, I said, what, what was that with those lava stones? And my wife said, oh, well, you had your eyes closed. She was doing a hula and she was asking for the lava stones from the field and she was kind of dancing with the stones and putting them on the lyrics. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I get backstage and this other lady comes to this sorry, this is a really another really long story. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost there. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so anyway, I get backstage and this other lady comes up to me and she says, Hey, you know, I didn't I heard your song, The Bowl of Light, and I, I went back to my uh, bag. I didn't know I had this in my bag, but um, I thought maybe you'd like to have this. And she hands me a picture of Hale Makua, the shaman. So I'm like, double yes. <laughs> right? It was just this really powerful thing, right? So the next day, I'm feeling good. I got the blessing. And Jojo and all of us, we go down to the spot called K-Bay. Right? It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. And the thing to do there is you swim with the dolphins. The dolphins come in the bay, and you can just go out there and swim with them. It's super far out, right? So right when we get down there, I notice that there's this... This heiau, heiau is a Hawaiian word for temple. It's a beautiful, beautiful heiau right on the bay. And we're just like, whoa, this is like a strong place, you know, this is like, you know, energetic place. And we go out and we swim, and while we're swimming, Jojo stays on the shore and he talks to this guy named Dolphin Dave. Yes. <laughs> yes. And he starts chatting up with, with Dolphin Dave, and everybody hires Dave to go swim with the dolphins. He lives right there in the bay, and he goes out and takes people out. So Jojo's like, hey, how'd you, you know, become Dolphin Dave? Like, what's the story, you know? And he's like, well, I, you know, one day I came down here, and I uh, saw this guy sitting out on the bay with his arms, like, out like this, and his eyes closed, and I thought, what is that guy doing out there? And I walked out there, and I tapped him on the shoulder and he just opened his eyes and he looked at me and he said, you gotta swim with the dolphins. <laughs> so I've been swimming with the dolphins for the past 10 years. <laughs> it's interesting because that, that is his whole livelihood. That is his connection to spirit. That is his whole, it changed his whole life, that one sentence, right? So Jojo said, well, man, well, who was that guy? And he's like, actually, He's a very famous shaman. His name's Hale Makua. And that's his heiau over there where he practiced a bowl of light. So it's just this triple, yes. <laughs> so it's just a really interesting story. And, and Hale Makua, ever since that time, has kind of been in our consciousness floating around. And whenever I play this song, I think about his service to the world and his, his uh, message of aloha. And, and love and, and universal love. So I just want to play this for Hale Makua up there, smiling down on us. So it's a song, it's a little part I need help, right?
You know, don't you carry stones in your bowl of light? And then you all go, hey, oh, hey, oh, bowl of light. Nah. You guys got it. All right, here we go.
Thank y'all so much. Bring the band back up for one more. Thank y'all so much. Thank you.